Well, if you were hoping for a follow-up to Martin Scorsese's words in regards to how Marvel is ruining cinema, he now, after Francis Ford Coppola made his new statement, goes out there and, well, delivers a new statement, which comes off more or less like he wants to throw more fuel onto the fire. So let's get into that. So we've talked about Martin Scorsese on here already. We don't really need to keep reintroducing who he is. In case you don't know, he recently released The Irishman. Um, he's really went out there and started talking about Marvel movies in particular and how much he hates them, how much they've destroyed cinema. And well, here is his latest quote. So let's get into that. The key that I'm hoping for is for theaters to continue to support narrative cinema of this kind, referring to the Irishman. Then he goes on and characterizes his film as an exploration of morality and unraveling of life. But then he gets back to the marble thing and this is what he says. But right now, the theaters seem to be mainly supporting the theme park, amusement park, comic book films. They're taking over the theaters. I think they can have those films. It's fine. It's just that that shouldn't become what our young people believe in cinema. It just shouldn't. So again, I think this goes all the way back around to like the old days of film and cinema. You know, if you look back on history, right? 20 years ago, the people that were on their way out because they were, you know, used to the old way of film were saying the same thing. Back in the day at some point, you know, spaghetti westerns, even though they were the most popular things, they were hated by the generation that preceded it, right? And now we're kind of in that same cycle where we're living in this time where comic book movies are everything, they are everywhere, and a lot of people are naturally going to see them. I mean, certainly you look at, you know, Avengers Endgame, biggest film of all time. You look at The Joker right now, and that's doing tremendously well. You know, there's no shortage of comic book films doing extraordinarily well at theaters, but, People like him, for example, and Francis Ford Coppola, um, they had this same, you know, scrutiny against them as well. If you look back at Scorsese, and I know you're going to have to dig, you know, deep, when he was coming out with, oh, look, it's another, you know, mobster movie, and it's this, and it's that, you know, and they all kind of looked like one another, there was people that were saying he was ruining cinema as well because of the way he's portraying certain characters and the way he's handling the same film you know, quote-unquote, same film over and over. That's exactly how they used to look at Westerns back in the day. So I, I think, again, it's a little naive to say, oh, kids shouldn't, you know, have this as their default cinema. It's like, well, the times are changing. Have you tried showing, like, a six-year-old a cartoon, like an animated cartoon old Disney film? It, you you know, you can barely keep them interested in it because it's not CG, because CG's everywhere now. Like, that, that's kind of what it's become. So it's kind of like... The changing, the, the aging process is happening. We're watching it live and the older people in Hollywood just can't catch up with it and grow with it. <laughs> 